You deserve the truth about everything. I already know the truth. You only think that you do. I loved Kyle, and I miss him so much, and I am so sorry for what I did. It's okay. The police told me everything. What? What did they tell you? They think they know who killed Kyle. There was a serial killer moving through all the towns around us. He's never been caught. He used some kind of exotic poison. Poison? That's, um, surprising. Detective Hale says they're going to retest tissue samples from Kyle. Detective Hale? I know he's your handler. He told me the killer saw you and you ran. What an ordeal it must have been. Being in witness protection, having to look over your shoulder all these years. I'm so, so sorry for everything. I'll keep your secret, Beth. I'll protect you. Hail! You lied for me without my permission. That is so not cool. That's why you refused to do it. I talked him into it. You? For an old timer, I still got pull around these parts. Ah, uh, I'm gonna give you two some privacy. That wasn't your call. Mel's family deserves the truth. And the Fae deserve to remain hidden. Who decides which is a greater good? You? I didn't choose to be Faye, but I can choose to do the right thing. And telling that dead boy's family the truth, that is what's right. You still don't appreciate how cruel this world is and how tenuous our place in it. You still don't think of yourself as one of us, do you? If you have a place with us, and if you embrace it, think of how much good you'll be able to do. I doubt that. The Nan Rouge appeared to you. She warned you about this approaching disaster. What if that's not it at all? What if this thing is coming for me to use me? What if I am the monster? Why on earth would you think that? Because the Nain Rouge gave me a vision. I was standing over your body, and I was the one that killed you. Please. You can't put any stock in visions. Whatever you think you saw, it means something different. Now, what can I get you? Beer? Scotch? Five-day bubble bath and a time machine. <laughs>